Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY with Dewey. So today I wanted to explain all the wiring for this unit. So this is the 36 volt or 48 volt controller, model number MQXCL16. So this is the 350 watt brushless motor controller. So a lot of these are labeled in Chinese and it makes it pretty difficult to wire up and figure out what's going on with this. So let me explain what each wire does, okay? So these two blue wires, this is to program the direction of your hub, of your hub motor. So what that means is after everything is hooked up, you, when you plug this in to, to each other, it rotates a certain way. And if you want it to go clockwise, then you unplug it. If you if you want it to go reverse, counterclockwise, you plug it back in, and your motor will spin counterclockwise. And if you want it to go that way, then you, while it's spinning counterclockwise, you unplug it. So that that means it's programmed to go counterclockwise. So these are you after you install everything and you have it going the correct direction then you don't connect this to anything. You just leave this alone. So that's the blue wires. I'm gonna start from the top down. This is, a, this is kind of messy. But I'll explain which each connector is. So these wires, the original connector didn't fit my brake handle that I needed, my brake lever. So black, black and white connector right here is the brake low brake input so this is from your brake lever so every time you push the brake lever it gives a signal where it connects these two pins so when it makes a connection it turns off your controller so the throttle can't be applied and then also the brake light turns on as well so this is a brake light this one is red and white so this is a brake light output. So whatever whatever battery voltage input you have in here, the output would be that strong. So if you're running 48 volts, this would be 48 volts coming out of it. So make sure the brake light you're using is the correct voltage. You don't want to hook up a 12 volt to that because that's a little much. All right, so we have these out of the way. So brake lever input, brake light output. Okay, so we have brown and black. Whenever these wires are connected, this is for a reverse switch. If you want the motor to run opposite direction it normally runs, you connect this. So you can put a little toggle switch or a momentary switch. And whenever these two wires make a connection, it reverses the motor. So reverse wires, we're using it on a scooter and we're not gonna go reverse in our scooter. So I'm not gonna connect this. This is the hall sensors for the motor. It's five wires. It's already all bundled together. These are the colors. So orange, yellow, green, blue. And it looks like black. But these five wires go into the motor, our hub motor. These are the phase wires. So these three, we're going to skip the throttle wire for now. So because these all go to, towards the motor, right? So you have these three phase wires. And you connect these to basically color matched on your scooter onto the hub motor. So phase wires, hall sensor. All right, those are all done. Throttle wires. Okay, so this is the tricky one because a lot of the throttles that come from, from the factory, they're wired up differently for different kind of controllers. So with this one, basically it's still a three, three pin throttle wire. This plugs directly into here. So this is a 
our throttle wire right here. When I received this throttle, the black and green were in the opposite spots. So when I plugged it in, it didn't do anything. So what I had to do was get a small screwdriver and you can push those little tabs right there. Do you see the little ramp, little tabs? You press it and you can pull the pin out and swap the pin, slide it elsewhere. So what I did was I switched the green and the black. So black should line up with this black. That's how you kind of know that's basically the ground. So before it was grounding out the purple wire right here and it didn't do anything when I plugged it in. So once I switched that, everything has worked perfect. So switch the green and black. I'm not sure if your throttle has the same exact colors as this one, but black, make sure the black connects to this black. You can try different combinations. Okay, so throttle wires out of the way. All right, we're almost done. Battery, so that's pretty self-explanatory. This one is basically, it's a 36 volt or 48 volt controller. The minimum voltage I tried with this was 40 volts and that, that worked okay for the motor we have. I tried 20 volts and it didn't turn it on. So 20 volts is definitely not enough. Usually this is probably around 30 volts, 30 to 31 volts to turn on the 36 volt controller. So this is battery input. Okay. This is charging port. So this is where you plug your charger in. And whenever you plug this charger in, it gives power through towards your battery right here. So we're not going to use our char charging port because I'm using a different type of battery. This one is the ignition switch. So we hook this up to a little key on and off switch. Whenever this makes a connection, it turns on the controller. So electric lock. So basically it's just an ignition switch. So if you're testing it out, make a connection between these two pins. So red and orange, and it'll turn on the controller. All right, so these are security um, for our, like an alarm system. I tested it out and it looks like this has constant power all the time. So orange and the black is the ground. The orange is positive constant all the time from the battery. So it doesn't turn off when the controller turns off. Let's go ahead and start plugging stuff in and I'll show you as we go along, okay? Okay, so don't worry about those back there. That's for a different setup, a different controller. Okay, so this is our brake input. I will have to wire this, a different connector on here to plug into this controller. Okay, so first thing, this is our battery input. So we have, we're actually running 60 volts on this controller. Um, we're over volting it, so I'm basically just pushing it a little to, to its limits. So grab this controller, battery. Would be. So we labeled it. So this is the black and red wire right here. And after we finish everything, I like to tape up everything with electrical tape so it looks factory. So I know right now it looks like a mess. Okay, so we only have the battery hooked up right now. This is the brake input. This will connect directly to this. So just pretend like this is the correct connector. It goes on like that, all right? Throttle wire. Throttle wire to this three pin. So it's the only three pin on this harness. Ignition switch. So electric lock, ignition switch. So this goes with our ignition. To, we have a key control to turn on and off. Plug that in. Hall sensor. 
So hall sensor is the five wire. Plug that in. So now we have these three phase wires and they're just color coded. So yellow goes with yellow. Blue with blue. And green with green. So brake light, we're not hooking that up. Reverse, we're not hooking it up. This is the programming. We're not programming anything, so we'll leave it unhooked. Charging port, we're not going to use, so we'll leave that unhooked. Alarm system, we're not using, leave it unhooked. That's it. So even the brake, um, it's not connected right now, but it doesn't affect starting the, the controller. So let's go ahead and we don't need to connect it right now either, but I will connect it to this brake lever switch. So those are the connectors you need to connect basically to run this. So I'll demonstrate right now. Well, let me turn the switch on. All right, so power switch is on. Here, let's turn the key. So it's full battery right now. All you do is you rotate this and it will start moving. There. That's all you really need to connect and it should work. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use this brake lever um, and it plugs directly into this brake line. So when you plug that in, so now every time you apply the brakes, the throttle doesn't go. All right, so we're holding the brake like that and then now we're giving throttle and it's not going. So now I'm gonna let go of the brake lever. So when you let go, there, so it goes. Okay, we're gonna plug this in. There, do you see how it's rotating backwards? And then now if I, when I unplug it, so now if I give it throttle, I'm gonna give throttle, it goes backwards. You don't want it to go backwards, right? So now we plug in this blue wire again to each other. There. So now it's rotating the correct way. It's going forward. Once you have it going the correct way, unplug this. Leave it unplugged. You don't need to plug that in anymore. But now it's going the correct way when you give throttle. Brick light. So we have our little multimeter right here. And here's our brick light right here. So I'm going to plug in positive to the red negative to the white wire okay so right now you don't see any input right now i'm going to push the brake lever so we're running 60 volts and it's pushing 62 volt volts through here so if you get a brake light and connect it to this you better have 62 volts or something rated for 60 volts you don't want to blow a 12 volt light or anything hooked up to this. All right, so those are explained. Reverse. Okay, here's the reverse. So I take this and you can just plug this and it makes a connection between the two pins. So now it's making a continuous loop. And now when you give throttle, your motor spin back, spins backwards. So this is a reverse, All right? And then when you unhook this and it's not connected, this will go forward. All right, well, that's pretty much it. That's everything. I'll explain these in a bit. So charging port, you know what that does already. These, so this is always positive 
no matter if the controller is on or off. So let me show you. So then if you're wearing something, you can figure it out too. So this is a two pin red connector right here for the security. When you turn off the power at the key ignition, it still gets positive. All right, so I wanted to show you what this does. So earlier I showed you this. So this has power output no matter what, it has power output. So green, this is how I would connect something. If I wanted to turn it on with the switch, I would connect it red with the green. There we go. So you turn it on and you have 62.5. It looks like this blue is giving out five volts. Yep. So if you need something low voltage, that's five volts coming out. So you can probably power something with that as well. So the blue is five volts. The green with red, is probably a negative. And this is just ground. Okay, now we know what all these wires are. Ground, five volt power is this blue. And then the red is the full 60. 62 volts and this orange is full 62 volts even when the ignition is off so ignition is off right now yep so it still gives the full amount of power all right that's every wire we have on here so now you should be able to hook up your controller too. And let me know if you have any questions or run into any issues. But that's everything. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button.